Well, welcome to The Boiling Point. We're going to be talking with Jason Howard. Jason is actually the sales director for Power Flame, um, a burner that we actually represent. Here's one of them here that we have on our show container. But we're actually talking about um, a new product that they have, a new burner, and we did this out at Boiler 2024 and got to interview Jason and um, just to be able to talk about this new burner. So make sure you check that out. Again, really, really appreciate the 50,000 subscribers. We finally hit that, which is very cool. Many of you are not subscribers, and if you would, make sure you hit that button and subscribe, and that way you'll be notified of new things that are coming out, steam cultures, weekly boiler tips, Lots of free information um, that you will have. And we will see you next time on The Boiling Point. Jason, you got a new product out. We yep. thought we'd give you some, uh, some time here to be able to talk a little bit about the Helox yes. uh, burner. Thank you, appreciate it. Yeah, so this is our new burner that we unveiled at ABMA and also had an HR. This is a new featured product. It's capable of burning natural gas, number two oil. And then another nice benefit is it'll do 10 to one turndown on oil with a region blower instead of a larger air compressor that you'd normally see. Also has an integrated VFD with a motor here, Siemens speedwell sensor. And then we can use any control system too. So we can use Siemens, FireEye, Honeywell, Autoflame. Yeah, yeah. And so we're excited to bring this to market. It's you know 30 ppm, no FGR. So it saves you on flue gas piping return. Okay. And so it's, you know, gr green, yep. emissions friendly. And we're happy now, to unveil it. Is 30 ppm the lowest that it will go at this time? This burner, we have other burners that are yeah. capable of going down to sub 5 ppm NOx. Okay. And then we do have maybe another version coming that um, we might add FGR to this and see how low we can go. Okay. But for the initial launch, we're doing 80 horsepower to 800 horsepower. Right. And then. Uh, go up and down from there a little bit. So what are you seeing uh, you know, in, 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 in the industry uh, right now from a burner standpoint? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, yeah, it's, you know, it's definitely interesting times. We're doing a lot of digester projects, so that's you know, a renewable gas uh -huh. that um, you know, it's not the easiest thing to burn sometimes, you know, low BTU content, right. but it's, you know, it's renewable. We're looking at biofuels, B20 up to B100. Mm -hmm. So that's a nice, you know, people Traditionally, haven't been burned oil as the primary fuel source, yeah. but that's what's exciting about this burner too. Is that with biofuels coming on strong now, we're going to see more oil, I think, getting burned. Right. So, right. Yeah, instead of a backup fuel for like hospitals. Sure. Now you obviously get a really good um, view of what's going on in the country. Mm -hmm. um, are you seeing things with the uh, 9 ppm? That obviously got the San Joaquin Valley. Right. You know, Pennsylvania's mm -hmm. gone to 9 ppm. Yeah. What, what's your What's your thoughts on it? It's definitely coming on. You know, it used to be just traditionally California sub nine, yeah. and we have burners throughout our portfolio that cover that. Right. But um, now we're doing sub five. And it is spreading across the country. There's areas of, in Houston, there's areas in Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. and there's also companies that self-mandate themselves to reduce their carbon footprint, and they'll do it in Illinois where there isn't any NOx restrictions. Sure, sure, yeah. it's all across the board. Yeah. Well, Powerflame's been around a while. Mm -hmm. uh, when did Powerflame start? It was started, we had our 75th year last year. Okay. So, been yeah. around a long time, and um, we appreciate great reps like Ware and across the country, we're fortunate that, um, you know, there's been a, a legacy there of uh, good partnerships over the years with yep. reps and the OEMs. And I think one of the biggest benefits of power flame burners are over the years we did a lot of testing with, with OEMs in the early stages. So okay. they would ship our boiler to us. We would do all the testing so that we weren't doing, you know, field uh, science projects. Right, you know, so. right, right, right. So you take our J series, for example, which one of our smaller burners, we have 121 different diffusers for that one burner and we know what diffuser to use with what boiler. Yeah. You know, wow. Helps things in the field. Yeah, well, well Power Flame's been around for, for a bit, and uh, yeah. you know got a great name in the industry. And mm -hmm. tell me about um, like COVID um, mm -hmm. and kind of how you all came out of that, and what are some of your struggles, and then now where you're at today. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's, as you know, it's been interesting with the supply chain that COVID you know put upon us, and um, we've learned how to navigate it a little bit better, and yeah. you know we increased our inventory a little bit to weather the storm. So that, mm -hmm. and we've since then we've lowered our lead times back down to the traditional, you know four to five weeks for our yeah. J and C series smaller burners. Right, right. And um, yeah, we're excited to be here at the Gaylord. By the way, they have nine power flame burners in the boiler room oh, here. Nice. That was part of the tour at ABMA. So, yeah, uh, yeah, so that, that was, was good, uh, yeah. exciting to do. Yeah, good to have them on yeah. there. So, Well, good. Well, um, anything else on this that's new? You got some patent pending stuff you talked about, but mm -hmm. anything else you want to go over? No, I appreciate the time to talk about it a little bit. Um, 
you know, if anybody watching this needs more information, they're welcome to go to our website, yep. www.powerflame.com. Okay. Um, go to your local rep, and yep. uh, if you want more information on this, we do have information on our website, and we'd be yeah. glad to help you out. Why don't you talk real quick, though, before we get off here, is mm -hmm. a little bit about the Aztec company. Yeah, um, good, good point. Um, yeah, Aztec acquired Powerflame seven years ago, and the tie-in was heat tech thermal oil heaters. They, they knew we had a good burner and they pretty much used us on their commercial fleet of thermal oil heaters and then on the industrial as well. And so Bill, Wiener, Bill and Louisa Wiener own Powerflame yep. and they looked to move it on and so it was a good acquisition. They've been a great parent company. They've invested in Powerflame and, and the infrastructure of the building and the people. And yep. you know, I hear it all the time from customers that it's a different Powerflame but it's a better Powerflame. Okay. You know, we've got yep. a great team and our sales team and engineering and we have a lot of other exciting things in R&D that yeah. We're going to be unveiling here in the future too that we're excited about. Very cool. Very cool.